Creating 3D presentations with blend for web templates. We all have to create presentations at times. In these cases, you often use specific editors such as PowerPoint. However, technology moves forward and today it's possible to create fully functional 3D web presentations. Unfortunately, this has been limited to only professional graphic artists and programmers. We decided to simplify this difficult task and we did almost all the routine work for slide management automation in Blender, which allows you to concentrate on creativity and fresh ideas. In this lesson, we will show you how to work with the film template designed as a film strip. The template can be used for creating interesting kids' stories as well as business presentations in a novel form. Working with the film template. Proper use of the template requires the latest version of Blend for Web. Open the film template file and click the Run Scripts button to make the Add, Swap, Delete and Upload buttons appear. You will need to do this only once next time the file opens with buttons. Next, create a new scene by clicking the Add Slide button. An automatically generated new scene will be added to a new slide. Camera animation for moving between scenes will be automatically generated as well. The navigation buttons play left and right to interact with the scene in the Blend for Web application are also created. A logic tree will be automatically generated depending on the number of the new slides added. If you open a list of scenes in the top toolbar, then you can see new scenes. By clicking on them, you can switch from scene to scene, depending on what future actions are required. For example, we have added low-poly decoration sets and two characters of the well-known fable about the crow and the fox. There is minimum camera animation in each scene. You can use our template to build a completely new story which already includes the appropriate frame and prepared logic. In essence, our template is a quick tool for creating a beautiful and at the same time lightweight 3D presentation, which you can send to anyone. The receiver will be able to open and view it in a browser without plugins. In order to add the necessary objects in the scene, we use standard Blender tools. Or we can create these objects from scratch depending on the goals of the presentation. You can quickly and easily transfer objects from one scene to another using the standard Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V method. Next, click Shift plus A and type a caption for every slide. Create another slide to create animation of camera movement between slides. Here you can see automatically generated camera animation keys. You can start and stop animation with Alt plus A. We solve most difficult tasks in the script and leave you with space for creativity and making your own ideas a reality. Good luck with your projects! What is in the template? The template for creating 3D presentations is designed to simplify the process of creating presentations in Blender. The template is written in Python and uses both the Blend for Web API and Blender API. The template allows you to automate three processes. First, creating a slide and placing service objects to move the camera and create a sub-scene. Second, creating a logic tree to navigate through slides. Third, creating animation keys for the autoplay mode. Creating a slide. Add slide class is used to create slides and service objects. By default, the template already includes the initial slide. So we just need to duplicate the initial slide with an offset and rename it. Copying objects with offset is done by using the following function. Empty service objects are created by the following function. We need two empty objects, the first in the center of the slide object, the second is placed at a distance of 3.2 on the x-axis from the center of the slide object. Creating a subscene can be carried out using the following function. 
Notice that each slide should show its own sub-scene, so each slide should have a unique material with reference to a sub-scene. We can do this by copying the texture and material of the original slide to inherit their properties and assign the resulting material and texture to the new object. Creating logic trees The logical tree to control the scene consists of three branches, which are already in the template. The first two are responsible for the switching between autoplay and manual mode. The third is designed to navigate by slide to the right and to the left. It is already built correctly and running, but for only one slide. If you add a new slide, then two new nodes will be automatically added to logic tree, out of which integrity and operability of the logic tree are restored. The addLogicNodes function is responsible for these operations. Creating animations. Autoplay mode needs camera animation, which at certain intervals of time will move between slides. Animation is created with the addAnimation class. After creating each slide, the execute function is called and with the following function, animation keys free on each slide will be added to the camera. In conclusion, in the end we get a complete 3D web application with our presentation. Based on executed work, we can conclude that the creation of a complete 3D presentation is not such a complicated process and is available to a wide range of passionate enthusiasts. A set of templates will be expanded over time, allowing you to create not only a film presentation, but also magazines, art expositions and galleries.